Welcome to lesson 5 of Design and Implementation of Hotel Management System. In this lesson, we shall start implementing custom security. And the fact, the, what we are going to do in this lesson is to create databases and to create database tables for the custom security we are going to implement. So now what we are going to do is we are going to go to SQL Server. SQL Server, we've already connected to our server. So we expand this. We expand tables folder. So we we'll right click on new, we say table. Hmm? Okay. So the first column we are going to have will be user ID. The data type will be begins. Hmm? We'll make it primary key. And then we make it identity. Then we are going to copy some stuff from some other table. Let's go to look at employee table. Okay. I select it, then I go to design. Okay. I want to copy some columns from okay. there. So this, I will hold shift up to this place. Mm -hmm. Then I'll go to edit, then I'll say copy. Okay. Then I'll come back to this table and design it. After, I'll select that next column. Mm -hmm. Then I'll go to edit, I'll say paste. Okay, okay, okay. okay. I'll call this one photo. Hmm? Okay. Then I'm going to go to customer table and copy some stuff from there too. I right click, I go to design. Are you following? Yes. Sir. So um, I'm going to copy from here. Are you following? Yes. Sir. I'll go to edit, then I'll say copy. Then I'll come here again. I'll select that last column there. Okay. I'll go to edit, I'll say paste. Hmm? Okay. I don't need this customer photo. Hmm? Okay. So I'm good. Now I'm going to save this table. I'll go to file, I'll say save all, and save table one. Hmm? Let me call it app users. Hmm? Okay, we are also going to have. They are going to have insert column. They are going to have email address. Hmm? Thank you. The data type for NVAC, uh, email address will be NVAC 50. Let's insert another column. We are going to have a column for password. Hmm? That type NVAC 50. Hmm? We are going to insert another column. We are going to have another column for confirm password. Hmm? The data type will also be NVAC 50. Hmm? So after that, we'll go to file and say save up users. Hmm? Um, we don't need, we are not implementing that for now. Okay. That will be later. Okay? okay. So now we have password, confirm password. Now let's do relationship between this table and some tables. So we'll go to database diagrams, say new database diagram. Okay? Mm -hmm. We are going to add up users table. And then I need to add gender ID. So I'll go to, I'll right click, say add table. Hmm? Mm. So, I'm looking for genders. Hmm? Mm. So I click on hard and I drag and drop from gender on this gender ID. Gender ID on gender ID. Okay, okay. okay. 
Now I need to do deal with employee status ID too. I need to do relationships. So I click on I right click click on add table. So I look for employee statuses. That's the table. Click on add. Click on close. Let me drag this one this side. Then I take this one. Employee status ID, the one that is primary key. Mm -hmm. On employee status ID, the one that is not primary key. I click OK, OK. Are you following? Yes. The last but not the least is customer status. I need to do relationship for that too. So I right click Add Table. I will look for customer status table. Click on Add. Are you following? Yes. Click on Close. I drag this one to this side so that people for feasibility sake okay mm -hmm. so i drag from customer status id that is primary key mm -hmm. i drop on customer status id that is not primary key mm -hmm. i click on okay okay are you following yes now at this juncture uh let me see yeah the next thing that's left for me is to save okay let me just go and say file save all okay mm -hmm. so i'm saving all will save the diagram mm -hmm. then it's going to ask you that you to save some tables then you say yes okay? okay so then you wait for that now that that's done mm -hmm. you can right click on that place and say close all documents okay. so now that that's done the next thing is we want to create custom table for rows so new table mm -hmm. okay. so let's go to role id Let's make that one int. Roll name. Envaca 50. Hmm? Mm -hmm. So roll ID. I right click set it as primary key. Hmm? Mm -hmm. So I make it, I just change its identity from no to yes. Are you following? Yes. So, I right click on this one, I'll see save table. Hmm? So, I call this one rows. Hmm? Mm. I'm going to create unique key on, um, so I write on row name. So, I right click and say index stroke keys. I click on hard type, will, be, will become what? Unique key. I click on the ellipsis and the included column will be what? Roll name. Is that understood? Yes, so I right click. I say save rows. Now there is one thing I forgot to do when I was designing the app user table. So let me right click and say refresh. Hmm? Here you have my app user table. I right click on it and go to use design. I want to create unique key on email address. Doing that, we ensure that no two users will, will have the same email address. So I right click, I go to indexes for keys. Click on add. Hmm? We go to type. Hmm? We change it from unique uh, index to unique key. Now we click on the ellipsis and change the included column to what? Email what? Address. Address. We click OK and we click close. Now there's just one more table before we close, uh, before we finish this part. Okay? So now, um, the, part of, the part that we need, we need to create a custom users in rows table. Okay. So this, um, Custom users in rows table mm -hmm. will serve a junction table. Okay. When we say a table is junction table, we mean it's a link between two tables. Okay. So it's going to be serve as junction table between app users and uh, uh, what, did, what did I call the other table? I think app rows. Okay, app users and rows table. Okay. So how do I do that? So I will right click, say new hmm? okay. table. And this table, what I'm going to have is, I'm going to have ID. Hmm? That type will be, will be big in two. Hmm? Then we are going to have user ID. 
that one to the big gate. Mm -hmm. Then we are going to have roll ID. That one will be int. Are you following? Yes, sir. And all the columns are going to be compulsory. Okay. Now, you right click on ID, you say set primary key. Okay? okay. Then, we are going to make that identity, ID column identity. So, we change its identity from no to what? Yes. To yes. Now, it's time to save this table. Users in rows. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Now we are going to do another relationship. Okay? Yes. But before we do that relationship, let's right click and say close all documents. Okay? So right click on database diagram. So now we are going to add app users. We are going to add rows. We are going to add users in rows. And you know, I told you that users in row is a junction table mm. that is in between these two. Oh, yes. So assuming it was the the stuff was arranged like this, mm. what I will do is I will do I will rearrange them and bring this guy in between. Okay. Because I said this guy is a junction table. Well. I said it's acting as a link be between rows and app users table. Mm. Okay, so what do we do? So, can you see that? Mm -hmm. This user ID. Okay. Is that, that's what I did okay. here. I thought you want, want to combine the. No, you can see it's user, user. Yeah. I'm joining user. Yeah. Okay. We're actually combining three tables, but the way it works is that we combine them one at a time. Okay. Do you get it? Yes. You combine role ID here with role ID mm -hmm. here. You combine user ID here with user ID mm -hmm. here. Okay. Actually, what we did here was to break down what we call a many to many relationship. Okay. Because uh, you see, this is what we actually have what we call one to many relationship between app users and users in rows. Mm -hmm. That tells you that a user can belong to many rows. Okay. And then we also have uh, men, uh, a one to many relationship between rows and users in rows, which means that a rows table can contain many entries for a single row in this table. Okay. Now let's save this. Okay, let's just go to file. We say save all. Then we click on. Okay. We will be prompted that the three tables will be saved again. We we'll click yes. Okay. Okay, let's let's still uh, smuggle in one more thing before we end the lecture. Okay. Now, the three tables we have designed today, we are going to do something. We are going to bring them inside right Okay. So we we'll right click. On Razin, we say run as administrator. Mm -hmm. Then we we'll click on yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know that these three tables that we've created, they were not part of the tables we created initially. Yes. So, but we now want to bring them into our hub. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we double click on our hub. Are you following? Mm -hmm. So now, to bring in those three tables, we go to the data tab, and we have our con data data source already. Mm -hmm. We double click on it. Mm -hmm. And what you just need, you've already entered all the connection string. All you just need to do is um, just say in fast schema. Okay? okay? Now, if you come here, you can see it's grayed out. Mm -hmm. It's grayed out because because some because of those three tables we've just uh, and yeah those three tables we've just added look at them user in rows rows can you see that user in rows what of app users look at it at the top okay then we want it to generate crowd pages that means it will generate crowd pages for those new tables as well okay so 
we are Nigerians, we use DD slash MM mm. slash YYY in our country, isn't it? Yes. So, um, enable export to Excel and CXB, enable search as you type, okay? okay. Uh, what next? Finish. Hmm? So, go to applications. Uh, you click run. Let's run it. Find that has been done. Let's pause the video. So, our app is generated again. Does that mean we don't have app users table? Let's look, let's, let's search. Let's stop the app for a moment. Hmm? Mm. Let's just search for users. Oh, there is nothing like that. So let's create it manually. How do we do that? We we'll go to pages. Hmm? Mm. Click on crop pages. Hmm? You click on next. Now you are going to, which schema are you looking for? The schema is app users. Now it's going to ask you whether you want to do uh, uh, you want to include some other related entities. Mm -hmm. Just include, let's include gender, let's include all these ones, they have relationship with it. Okay. Okay. And I think that's all. Okay? So we click on let's make this one help users. Hmm? Okay. Yes, enable, then enable export to Excel and CSV, enable search as you type. Are you following? Then you click on save. Hmm? Mm -hmm. So that's that. Then let's add rows too, for rows. Hmm? Sorry, we made a mistake for that app users. I'm sorry. There is something I want to do for that app users. Okay, no, let's leave it the way it is. So we've added that user app users. Okay, let's add another set of pages. So sorry, let me show you what I did. I went to click on that plus icon. So I say crop pages. This time around, for users in row. You know, we created a table that is something like this before. So, users in rows. Uh, include these two objects. Are you following? Yes, sir. Then the last table we are going to create. Hmm? Is row stable itself? Hmm? Okay. So the schema, the one we did this now is users in row. It was this one we did. Okay. So now we are going to do this one. Hmm? Okay. Now we are going to include users in rows. Okay. okay. Then here too you enable export to Excel, enable search as you type. Safe. Hmm? Okay. Now let's run again. Hmm? Okay. Do we have app users in rows? Yes, we have these app users, these users in rows. These rows. Ah, when next we come, we need to to deal with this uh, age certificate okay. issue. Okay. So, but today we we hand the lesson at this juncture. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for watching.